Morning everybody. Me and Ari, we're in Bully Run Market. First time I've ever been here. Just bought some Bannin. A few clubs over the head. Descaled it. Got in there. That snakehead he's got there, still alive, isn't it? Get them goats out. <laughs> Club that snake head. Look, I don't know if that's its nervous system, but it's still wagging its tail. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh at such things. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. We're in the uh, cowboy bar in Buddy Ram. Yeah, welcome. Yes. Nice, nice bar, nice friend. It's the outside of it. Oh. Another person with a chopper. And it's got the same engine as what Lake got. On the 650. He said he hadn't ridden it for five months. So he's going to give the carburetors a good clean out fuel system. It's in there underneath all that blanket and everything. Hard to see but... Just when you when you get to roundabout the elephant roundabout in uh, Buriram, head towards the Chang Circuit, uh, the Buriram football ground, and it's just uh, on that road and on the left, cracking place. It's got sat round a fire and bloody roasting. Anyway, I walk in, just grab my beer. I watch how you're walking though in here, it's a bit dodgy. Rickety old steps and what have you. There's a stage set up from the back. French flag, <laughs> an old English flag, flag proper. We're sat over in there. This is a table full of us. We've got food on order, which is good. Go ahead, Mimi. Oh, posing groupie session. Oh, you hang about with him? <laughs> <laughs> you realise your photograph has just been taken with Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
so we're out with you, just took off to Osmeal. We think me and our Ray um, did him in. <laughs> Don't stand the pace. Now, he had some presumptions earlier with us. And um, my diagnosis was maybe had an anaphylactic shock. Anyway, we got the ambulance for him and he's gone off to hospital now. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Good evening. No, it's not. It's good morning. It's uh, da, 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 round about that time. It's all blurry. What is it? God, it's half past one. Nearly. Anyway. Right. Before we went out tonight, or last night, Magnus, our Swedish friend, came to Raymond's house for the first time. And Raymond, being Raymond and being generous, see if it were me, it w what happened wouldn't have happened, because I'm a stingy kid and I would never have given away my, or Raymond's, Brazil nuts. And poor Magnus has eaten the Brazil nuts and he exploded in the pub. Poor bloke. Just went into an anaphylactic shock, severe vomiting, diarrhea, you name it, just like that, bang. Shortness of breath. Da -da -da. But we were pretty sharp because when the ambulance turned up, we did say it may well be because of the Brazil nuts. Anyway, Mimi's just been on the phone to his uh, wife and they've confirmed it in the hospital that it was a Brazil nut he's allergic to him. Oh dear. And he's, uh, he's got to spend the night in ICU, but they say it's a bit iffy, touch and go, so. Fingers crossed that he pulls through. Right, we're going to party on. we got some beer, we got some hong tong, we got some nuts. <laughs> Raymond's got some, we got some killer nuts. Raymond's got some prong knackers. Some watermelon seeds and all kinds of things. So it's good night from me and it's good night from Ray. Good night. Last breakfast down at our race place for go on today. I've got Pad Creek Geng, which is like fried chili curry <laughs> with an egg. Look at that one, Mimi's got. Whoa. Giant squid. Corn. Mm. And Raymond got his omelette. Stuffed omelette. Lovely. It's an update on our friend yesterday that we nearly poisoned to death. <laughs> Kept him in ICU overnight, but he's uh, feeling a bit better. And, uh, I'm splitting before he comes back and gets his motorbike from Raymond's house <laughs> and leave him on his own. <laughs> yeah. How did we know he didn't like Brazil nuts? Or his body didn't like it? Whoops. <laughs> 